Hello and welcome. I'm Sonal Mehrotra Kapoor. This is Five Live. The countdown for artificial rains in Delhi has begun. In a bold attempt to clear the capital's choking skies, an aircraft from IIT Kanpur took off today, releasing special salt-based and silver iodine flares into clouds above Delhi. Ye sab kya hai? I'll tell you that in just a moment. But what's the latest? Now, the Delhi Environment Minister, Majinder Sirsa, has confirmed that two rounds of what is called cloud seeding has already been completed, with a third expected any time now. So, we are waiting to see if Delhi will witness its first ever artificial rainfall. And perhaps, will bring with it a temporary respite, if at all, from its toxic air. What are the chances? Well, right off the bat, I can tell you it's a little 50-50 over there. But first, let's deep dive into what exactly is cloud seeding. First up, listen in from the Chief Minister. हर चीज को हमने ट्राई किया है और इसीलिए क्लाउड क्लाउड सीडिंग को भी हमने एक ट्रायल दिया है कि इसके माध्यम से यदि दिल्ली के पोल्यूशन की समस्या का समाधान हो सकता है तो हमें करना चाहिए पर ये एक एक्सपेरिमेंट है देखते हैं इसमें से क्या निकल के आता है और एक्सपेरिमेंट अगर सफल हो जाता है तो मुझे लगता है कि एक समाधान जो दिल्ली वासियों के लिए बड़ा महत्वपूर्ण होगा वो निकल के आएगा क्योंकि बहुत सारी चीज़ें डिपेंडेंट रहती है क्लाउड सीडिंग पे आपका बादल उसमें नमी नमी के साथ में हवाएं ये सब कुछ किस तरीके से परिस्थितियां बनाते हैं वो कितना सफल हो पाता है ये अपने आप में हम सब के लिए भी नया है क्योंकि दिल्ली में पहली बार है पर मैं ईश्वर से प्रार्थना करती हूँ कि ये ट्रायल सफल हों और दिल्ली को इसका लाभ मिले तीसरी ट्रायल के लिए भी आज ही शुरू करे गए हमारा मकसद है कि हर ह्यूमिडिटी के से जानकारी लेने की कितनी भी ह्यूमिडिटी में कौन कौन सी बरसात हो सकती है मौसम विभाग के मुताबिक जो विंड्स हैं वो नॉर्थ की तरफ हैं और ये दिल्ली आउटर दिल्ली में कहीं पे भी जो है विंड्स के चलते बादल जाएंगे आईआईटी कानपुर का मानना है कि ये बरसात पंद्रह मिनट से लेकर चार घंटे के अंदर कभी भी हो सकती है और कितनी भी हो सकती है जो कि बहुत बड़ी तर स्तर पर नहीं होगी अभी क्योंकि उसके अंदर जो ह्यूमिडिटी थी वो कम है पंद्रह से इस परसेंट है ये ही अभी टेस्ट किया जा रहा है क्या इतनी विजिबिलिटी इतनी मॉइस्चर में क्या ये हो पाएगा उम्मीद है कि आईआईटी कानपुर के रिजल्ट अच्छे रहेंगे सो यू हर्ड फ्रॉम द पॉलिटिशियंस देयर बट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज क्लाउड सीडिंग एंड कैन इट रियली फिक्स डेलीज डर्टी एयर Let's start with this explainer and start by telling you how it actually works. Now think of cloud seeding as giving reluctant clouds a bit of a push. Scientists use aircraft or even rockets sometimes to spray tiny particles usually from silver iodide salt or even dry ice into clouds that already contain moisture. These particles act as seeds helping water droplets form and eventually fall. as rain or sometimes as snow important to understand that cloud seeding can't really create rain from clear skies it only enhances the precipitation when the right type of cloud is already present so what is this delhi experiment all about now delhi is now preparing for its first large scale artificial rain operation led by researchers from iit kanpur Now apparently a successful test run was already conducted earlier in Burari and the main operation is planned between today and the 30th of October 28 to 30th of October depending all not just on the science but on weather and flight visibility the idea is simple trigger light rainfall to help wash off the fine particulate matter pm 2.5 pm 10 then blanket the city you know this entire pm 2.5 pm 10 that blankets the city every winter the hope is that even a brief drizzle could bring down the pollution levels for a few days but experts caution that success depends entirely on the weather if the clouds lack sufficient moisture even perfectly executed seeding flights will fail to produce rain so you see how it happens over there The question really now is has it worked elsewhere can it really produce results so we picked up in our research three countries that have tried out cloud seeding 
Number one is China. Now, China runs the world's most extensive weather modification program. Studies show rainfall sort of increases to around 4 to 10 percent in certain regions where they tried it out. However, results vary widely and measuring success remains tricky. But China does do it. They do it constantly every time there's a big world event, a big sport event. They do cloud seeding as an active exercise. Then there is the UAE that has invested heavily again in seeding with over 300 missions a year using aircraft and AI-based targeting systems just like those on your screen right now. Studies there suggest that 20 to 25 percent more rainfall in seeded clouds, but experts again emphasize that major weather events such as the 2024 Dubai floods, remember, were natural, not linked to seeding. So we've told you two countries so far, China, where it happened only about 5%, and then there is the UAE where floods came, and then questions were asked, was that because of cloud seeding? Let's look at United States as a third country then. It uses it mainly for water management, especially in the Rockies. There is a project there called Snowy, which confirmed small to measurable snow increase, typically three to 10%, useful for water storage, but not for solving for drought issues. So what are we telling you? In short, cloud seeding works when nature cooperates. It can nudge the clouds, but it can't replace them. But the question then is, will it help with pollution? That's the problem we face, unlike, say, what UAE or US faces. Now, rain naturally helps clean up the air by dragging down dust and pollutants. So yes, if seeding succeeds in targeting air rain, Delhi's air could feel noticeably fresher for a short time. However, scientists warn that effect is temporary, often lasting just between 24 to 48 hours. The underlying causes of pollution, which is basically vehicle exhaust, industrial emissions and crop burning, will quickly rebuild that smog. Experts have described seeding as a 